Welcome to Solve It to Win, where players compete in answering a series of mathematical questions. I'm your host, Denise, and let's meet our players. Hi everyone! I love window shopping, especially online shopping. And I use my month knowledge to do comparison shopping and to get the best deals. I hated math before, but I started to love it because I can use it in my everyday life. Puzzles and crosswords are my first steps in my math journey. And I believe that this game will showcase my mathematical skills. Family like Jenga, Uno, and Monopoly. I think that playing board games has helped my problem solving skills. As he logic, and also I love to solve mathematical problems and play with numbers. And I grew up having a competitive sibling, so I can stand losing. And I will do my best to win this game. So growing up solving crossword puzzles, Sudoku and word search puzzles are my favorite pastimes. Now I'm gonna use these skills to win this game. Thank you very much, players. And welcome to the game. Solve it to win it. The rules of the game are very simple. Each of the players will have two strikes. If your answer is correct, you'll hear a win it. Then you'll move on to the next round. And if your answer is wrong, you'll get one strike per wrong answer. Any player can have a chance to steal. Once you get two strikes, you're out of the game. So make sure to have your brains working. Whoever gets to the final question wins. Are you guys ready? So much for introductions. Let's move on to the first round. If letter D is equal to 231, letter I is equal to 999, letter H is equal to 743, then what letter is 871? It's letter N. Win it. To get the final answer, you need to refer to the English alphabet and simply add the first two digit numbers and subtract them to the last number. Therefore, 8 plus 7 is equal to 15 minus 1 is equal to 14. And the 14th letter in the English alphabet is letter N, which concludes that player number 1 gets the correct answer. Our player number one certainly showed her wit and credibility in our first question. Her astonishing answer has made an impact on each one of us. So as we proceed, let's see if more players will answer the next question. For the second question, which pair of numbers is part of the pattern? 3, 6, 12, 24. A, 36, 72. B, 48, 96. C, 36, 48, and D, 42, 60. Audio jungle. Um, letter A, 36 and 72. Wrong. 36 and 48. Wrong again. B forty eight ninety six. Win it. To get the answer, you need to multiply the preceding numbers by two. Twenty four times two is equal to forty eight, and forty eight times two is equal to ninety six. Therefore, the pair of numbers that is part of the pattern is 48 and 96, which concludes that player number 3 gets the correct answer. Okay, okay. I think the players are really into the game. They're really eager to win. So with that being said, let's move on to the next question. Continue the pattern. J, F, M, A, M, J, J, A. The answer is letters S, O, N, and D. 
win it. The initials in the pattern are the initials of each month in one year. Therefore, the preceding answers are S, O, N, and D, which concludes that player number 5 gets the correct answer. Wow! It's amazing that in a second you already got the answer. Because for me, answering that would take a minute. Well, enough of me. Let's move on to the next question. Continue the pattern. 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. Might I remind you that there are two answers. Audio jump. Sixty-five, eighty-five. Wrong. Um, sixty-five and seventy-five. Win it. <laughs> to get the pattern, you need to add. 10 in each number to get the next number. Therefore, the final answer is 65 and 75, which concludes that player number 4 gets the correct answer. I would like to remind player number 3, you only have one life left. Be careful next time. Now let's proceed to this question. This may sound a bit confusing and long, but I know that the players are good enough to get this done. A group of businessmen was at a networking meeting. Each businessman exchanges business card with every other businessman who was present. If there were 16 businessmen, how many business cards were exchanged? Wrong. 240 business cards. Win it. <laughs> to get the final answer, you need to multiply 15 individuals who already have business cards in their hand and 16 businessmen who were present. Therefore, 15 times 16 is equal to 240 and concludes that player number 1 gets the correct answer. For the remaining 4 players, please answer carefully. The next question is... The first week of math club had 3 students. The second week had 5 students. The third week had 8 students. And the fourth had 12. If the pattern continues, how many students will show up for the 8th week? Students. Wrong. Thirty-eight students. Win it. Yes. I would like to remind player number five, you only have one life left. To get the answer, first you need to examine the given week and students. In the first week, there are only three students at the end. In the second week, there are five students. In the third week, there are eight students. And in the fourth week, there are 12 students. From here, we can say that first to second week, two students are added. Second to third week, three students are added. Third to fourth week, four students are added. And if we continue the pattern, on the fifth week, there should be five students added. That will lead us to 17 students in total. Sixth week, 23 students. Seventh week, 30 students. And therefore, on the eighth week, we should come up with 38 students in total. It concludes that player number two gets the correct answer. I know for sure you don't want to be kept waiting, and I know everyone is anxious for the next part of the program. So let's proceed to the next question. 
Can you crack the code? The hint is 682. One number is correct and well placed. 614. One number is correct but wrong place. 206. Two numbers are correct but wrong places. 768. Nothing is correct. 780. One number is correct but wrong place. 604. Wrong. Two hundred forty. Wrong again. Zero four two. Win it. Audio jungle. The first step is you need to remove the numbers seven, six, eight, and all the hits. The second step is to check all the zeros. The third step is to take note that all the zeros are in the wrong place and the only right place is that first digit in your number. Therefore, the first number in your number is zero. The fourth step is to check the number two, which is stated in the hint that it is well placed and correct. The only missing number is the number 0 Audio and 2. Audio the only option is to check the number 1 and number 4. But according to the hint, Audio one number is correct but placed. So that the only option is to check the number 4. Audio jungle. Since it is correct, big round of applause for the last three players. Are you ready for the final game? Please be reminded that each one of you has been incorrect and one wrong answer can make you lose the game. For the last question, if January's code is 7110, April's code is 541, August's code is 681, October's code is 71015. Then what is the code for December? Audio jungle. My answer is seven two zero zero. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Eight zero two four. The code is eight one two four. Audio to get the final answer, you need to refer to the numbers of letter, months in one year, and the English alphabet. Therefore, the number of letters Audio is jungle. 8, December is the 12th month, and in the English alphabet, B is the number 4. So, in the final answer, there will be 8, 1, 2, 4. Which concludes that player number one gets the correct answer. And congratulations! Player number three and five, you are out. Congratulations, player number one. You are titled Solver of the Game Patterns. Edition.